This is store number 96, traveling around the country, filming a hundred spirit Halloween stores, and holy crap, guys, end of the season, and we found a possessed pumpkin. Alright guys, today we are in Brunswick, Ohio, and what in all that is spooky is going on with that tiny little sign up there. That has got to be the tiniest Spirit Halloween sign I've ever seen. I hope that doesn't mean they have a very, 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 very tiny selection in this store, but we're going to find out because we are going in right now. Brunswick, Ohio, to see what they have in the spirit Halloween. Oh, there are automatic doors. All right, right in the door, they are sweeping the floors and everybody else is sweeping them of all their animatronics. I do see the bubble tubes of death in there. They are working perfectly. I haven't spent a whole lot of time looking at the electrical tubes of death or the random hanging skulls of death. But while she's working with the sweeper of death, let's come over here and check out Monty. I can't believe I'm in another store today that actually still has Monty. Hello, Monty. Come on now, I saw your eyes light up. Don't trick me. Don't trick me, Monty, come on. Don't do this to me. We're supposed to be friends. There he goes. After I said that, he immediately started working. See, Monty, I knew we were good buddies. And look at this, guys. I just noticed right over here, Brunswick still has a good selection of Halloween masks where they are sold out everywhere else. All the other stores only have this mask left. But look at this. We have Halloween 1. We have Halloween Ends. Do we have... Let's see. Actually, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Halloween ends masks. One, two, man, there's a whole plethora of Halloween ones. And then back here I see there's a couple of Halloween twos. Pretty cool. I like the Halloween ends mask, but personally, I haven't seen the movie yet and I haven't heard good things about it. So I'm going to hold off on buying that one. And I do want the Halloween one mask, but I'm going to go online and find one that's really, really good. The thing I don't like about this one is the hair. Look at that. I just don't like that hair. Some people do, but I don't. Like, to me, the hair is supposed to be more like it is on the Halloween Ends mask, where there's just less of it, it's a little bit more smoothed down, and this just seems a little bit too frizzy. They do still have a good selection of Nightmare on Elm Street stuff, but I don't see the Nightmare 4 mask that I like so much. We have all three different kinds of the gloves, including this one down here with the metal blades. <sighs> And I'm kind of thinking I'm going to regret it if I don't buy one of these. I don't know. I'll think about it. All right, let's come on over here, guys, and see what else they have. Oh, we do have a shorty. We almost missed this guy. Come on now, shorty. Come on. Here we go. They are probably so tired of hearing these things at this point in the season. But that's what it's all about. Oh, my gosh. He is, like, super loud, too. Oh my gosh, look at this random hanging skull. It has a glitter bobble headband on with little pumpkies, and one of them has one eye! And I can't walk away without pointing out the spooky brick! I do see we have an enormous sandworm groundbreaker back here. That's cool. Whoa, holy crap, they actually have three more over here. Oh look, they actually have this back part set up too. <gasps> they have a possessed pumpkin, guys. Holy crap, I thought that I would not see another possessed pumpkin in a store this season. This is store number 96, traveling around the country, filming a hundred spirit Halloween stores, and holy crap, guys, end of the season, and we found a possessed pumpkin. Oh my gosh, guys, this guy is enormously huge and enormously 
heavy. Okay, he's not really all that heavy, but he is heavy. Okay, now that we got that guy out of the way, let's come back here. Look at this. We actually have a nozzles, too. I had considered getting him, but I don't think I'm going to. And we have a Reagan, and I'm definitely not getting her. I do love these blue bubbles of death, but if I'm choosing ones for my office, I think I'm going to go with the red. Let's go ahead and see if we can get Nazi working here, because I do love Nazi. Oh, Nazi, there you go. He's not twisting, but everything else is working good. The eyes are yellow, the nose is green, the nozzles are lit up. He is pretty dang cool. I'm probably going to regret not buying him. I don't know, man. I really do like him, and I've made so many jokes about him that I feel like I really should buy him. Nazi, I'm going to keep on thinking about it. Till then, you just relax, buddy. You just relax. All right, let's take a look over here, guys. Look at this. We have a double head. Look how his mouth is, like, sewn back here. So he always has, like, a half a smile. And on this side, he has the other half of a smile. We have a few zombie babies here. We have the crawler, we have the spider biter, and the cockroach eater. And amazingly, she has both eyes in this store. We got these guys who definitely need some trident, some aqua fresh, some scope, something to clean up that mouth. And we have some creepy dolls here too, guys. Look at this. We have three pumpkin nesters, a vintage wolfman, and a Rosalie. And I swear I saw more of these in another section of the store. Let's come over here a minute. What the heck, man? I swear I saw a bunch of them over here somewhere. But I've been in so many stores, I just don't know. Uh, okay. Here's the tiny terror side steppers. We do have Lydia, Spiky, and Pennywise there. And a Slim in the middle on the top. Wait a minute. What in the world is this? It looks like a book. It says It Chapter 2. Oh, it is a book. An empty one to hide stuff. We have these hanging fellows. I haven't seen the vintage monsters in too many stores this year, unless I've just been walking by them. But I don't think at least I've seen this guy. I think I've seen him, and I purposely walked by because he's evil. I guess that is all the creepy dolls they have. Do they have any secret-keeping cats. I do not see any, at least over here. Let's go through the Isle of Ghouls and Goblins. I don't think I looked over here because I got sidetracked with the giant pumpkin man. Um, <laughs> we have Fright in the Box down here. We have Scary Clown Archways. We have the Jack-O-Lantern Archway. I really like this one. Two Killer Clowns. We have the Devil and the Vampire Door Knockers. The Frankenstein Sidestepper. We have the Scarecrow Archway up there. There. Lots of cracked skull zombie ground breakers, pathway markers, jack-o'-lantern pathway markers, creepy skull pathway markers, and these awesome pumpkin lights. Whoa, what in the world is this one, guys? Trick or Treat Originals, The Wraith. Holy crap. When is this from, man? Is there a date on here? I don't see a date on here, but this is... An older mask, I'm sure. That is pretty dang cool. And this mask right here, I am pretty sure, is the exact mask that you see on Hubie Halloween. Look, we got another one back here. Another Trick or Treat Originals. Maniac. If you haven't seen Hubie Halloween, it is an awesome Halloween movie with Adam Sandler. Go ahead and watch it and watch for all the awesome spirit animatronics and props in the movie. It's pretty fun. Oh, and here's that burlap horror mask again. The animatronic is pretty dang awesome. I saw it a couple of years ago in a store, but it wasn't working. But if I ever came across it again, I would buy it in a split second. Oh, look at this. They do have the mummy mask here and Frankenstein. I don't see the creature from the Black Lagoon here. But yeah, they do have these two, and I love these. I kind of wish I would have brought my spirit beanie with me because it is chilly chill outside today. Oh look, they still have a pretty dang good selection of ghost face stuff. If you want the whole costume, it's up there. They have a bunch of the light up masks. Let's see. Looks like all of these are the light up masks. Um, oh, here's a regular one back here. And then they have two of the devil face. And of course they have the viper face, but I don't really care for that one. I've put off buying the ghost face costume all season. And I do want to have a ghost face in my office, like a full-size ghost face in an actual uh, costume. 
but I think I will wait and buy like the 25th anniversary robe on eBay because that one is actually sparkly like the original in the movie. Oh look, I almost missed these. They actually have one, two, three costumes with the chrome face too, as well as a couple of the ghost face knives and of course these bloody blades. These are the ones that when you take them and you like turn it upside down, the blood actually runs. Actually a pretty cool effect. All right, Brunswick has done us pretty good. Let's leave some stickers here for Monty and let's leave a couple for Shorty. Leave a couple for these skulls. And we'll leave the rest for Nazi back here. There you go. Oh, and I almost forgot they do have a stack of jumping spiders. If you're still looking for those, they have seven of them. All right, guys, that is it for the Spirit Halloween in Brunswick. And who would figure that the one with the smallest sign would have the biggest prop available? Mm -hmm.